Alright, so uh, this is my terrain tips and tricks video. So, um, my first tips and tricks is uh, material variants. These are sometimes uh, overlooked for some weird reason, but they can be really powerful when used in the correct way. So, for example, right now I'm just painting rock on my terrain that I made like real quick. Uh, so, you can like change the colors, uh, make this grass a little bit darker. But yeah, generally sometimes uh, these textures don't quite fit. So what you'd have to do is you have to like change uh, textures, and to do that you can use a certain thing called material variance. So what you have to do is if you go to the material service, uh, add a material variant. In that material variant, you can add an image. Uh, also, to be able to add the image, you have to like publish your game. So after you have your image. Uh, I chose this rock. Uh, you can change the roughness map, make it something dark or white depending on the roughness you want. So then you change your base material to the material you want to override. In this case I'll do rock. Then what it does is after some time it changes the texture into a rock. It basically replaces the textures. Uh, you can recolor this uh, to whatever you want. If you can, try to find some alpha texture, so like black and white. Because if you do that, you can have any colors you want, really. Uh, if you feel like they're too tiled, like here, you can go back to material service, go to your material variant, change that to like 20 or 100 maybe. Change it however you like. For this, I'll just use 25. Uh, so then you can also change yeah, your, your grass texture replace so I'm gonna try to find grass okay that doesn't work so you have to go to uh, the material service try to find the texture you want to replace grass click on your material variant wait for it to load then you have this grass texture which looks pretty nice so uh, you can change this however however you like really but yeah, this is the basics of material variants. Alright, so in this chapter I'll teach you about the materials that go really well with each other. So if you're too lazy to make material variants, uh, what you can do instead is you can mix some materials together. One of my personal favorite ones is mi mixing mud with ground. This can create really nice uh, paths, so let me show you real quick. So You get your ground texture, you move it around as a path. Then to break up this tiling, you can add some mud. It gives it some detail, gives it some tiling. You can go even the sec. You can, you can even go another step and start adding some grass to break up the path even further, and have something that looks nicer. Another one that goes well together is actually basalt and rock. Wait, I, I still have the material variant for rock. I'll just delete it real quick. Uh, if you change the colors, like what I'm about to show you right now, I can go to basalt, change it to a lighter color. You could actually like mix them together and add some more variation to your mountains or whatever really you want to make. Other ones that go well with each other is actually uh, salt and like snow. You could use it to break uh, to break up some like. Uh, tiling going on but I'd actually recommend you using glacier or ice to do that instead because salt just has this uh, salt texture right now. The limestone and sand because they just look so similar. Just need to like change your colors and you can have the same thing. Limestone is actually sometimes used instead of like sand on beaches because it just makes more sense. Because sand just looks like something you would use in uh, dunes and stuff. Uh, another one I've been seeing quite a lot in like the stylized community is using pavements. So like you can break up your paths even more by adding pavement to it. So you can go to your pavement texture and well, make it fit. It does look quite nice. I uh, probably not going to use it because uh, the mud and ground is fine with me. This chapter I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, my way of creating mountains so it's not actually complicated uh, all you have to know is just to use simple shapes so for example I could use this shape for a mountain 
actually it's more of a cliff but like this shape would work well with a mountain and then what I would do is I would combine it with another shape putting it down there going back upwards making a peak going down making a second peak then going down two simple shapes combined together then uh, to go the extra step I can go diagonally even try to make something a little bit more simpler so down up down then from there are uh, really the only ha the harder part is just to fill it together so just move that over there and just generally fill it it's not really hard just uh, just takes a little bit of practice so you can see I made this entire part of this mountain uh, just with using simple shapes it's not really that hard I'll even show it by filling in this part So you can see how, how I made these uh, peaks just by using simple shapes. So then you can paint it with the rock and have something that looks nice. So yeah, that's, th that's that part of the mountain done. It's really simple and if you want to make cliffs, it's the exact same thing, just even easier because with cliffs you have even simpler shapes. So my next chapter is going to be about uh, using geographical references. Just With the rivers you have to take into account uh, meanders. What a meander basically is, is so rivers meander is how it curves along due to the terrain or just any other factors. Using tributaries. To make tributaries you'd make your our brush size even smaller and give it that little branch coming out you know just uh, rivers aren't just like one straight line they have tributaries which branch out like river like uh, branches you know so I only I only really recommend you doing tributaries when you're making like large terrain pieces can see it as tributaries. So uh, another thing to take into account is using reference images. Ref it, it's I, I cannot stress how important this is. So you you could uh, like look at rivers using reference images. You can see how it looks, uh, how it bends. To my last tip, practice. You won't be able to do all of these stuff like right after you watch this tutorial. Oh. Uh, but it will likely get to the right direction. These stuff just take practice, like a lot of practice. Uh, usually it's like uh, a few weeks, maybe a month, but just make sure to practice. Yeah, it will get easier. Just remember, practice makes perfect.